Hey, my friends. Greetings. Remember me? Yes. I got a new look. Haircut and all. For those of you who watch me for the first time, I call myself the Storage King. That's right, the Storage King. Man, let me tell you something. It has been hard as heck to get a unit these days. Ever since I've been telling you guys about the business, COVID hit. And man, people got into this business like you would not believe. They were using their stimulus money and they were getting to this business really, really heavy. Now, a lot of people made a lot of mistakes by buying a lot of junk. But if you read my book and you listened to my videos, you'd have known exactly what to do. Okay? You'd have known exactly what to do, not losing your money, not getting a bunch of trash. And you would have made out great and continue to make it out great. So I'm just starting to get back into things again, and you haven't seen me for a while because, I, to be honest with you, I couldn't even I couldn't even buy anything. Everything was so crazy, and I had to move up my numbers, move up my numbers in terms of spending more money than I normally used to spend. I used to go to an auction, a bunch of guys, 30 units, and we make a pack amongst each other that we're not going to spend more than 20 bucks a piece. Now it's changed. The auction, most of the big ones, have gone to storagetreasures.com. So now you have to bid against the entire United States. So it's changed a lot. But you can still get a lot of units cheap. Don't forget, pick up my bet book. Always lulu.com. Use the false big profit. Use the false big profit. It will help you in this business. It will help you stay in this business. It will help you have a perpetual income all the time even in your sleep that's what i have a perpetual income even in my sleep now today i got my trailer and i got my pickup truck that i just bought because the other vehicles that i used to use can't carry that load i made sure that i emptied it out and i went to this particular facility right here and I bought a unit for $63. That's right. $60 actually with sales tax and everything. It came up to $63. Don't forget. Subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Don't be afraid to get your feet wet. Keep moving. And anything that you do in life, you have to keep moving. You have to find a way when things change. And COVID changed a lot of things. Businesses died People died. People lost a whole lot of things. Income, families, a lot of things changed. But you have to keep going. If you have life, you have breath, you must keep going. You must not give up. Never give up in life. I got a 94-year-old father. Pull me aside. He says to me, Wayne, don't ever give up. So I'm telling you, don't ever give up. Don't ever give up in life. Don't give up on anything that you want to do in life. That's the only way you're going to succeed. Anyway, so let's get back to business, right? So... Like I've been telling you guys, if you watch my videos over and over again, you will see exactly what I do as far as processing is concerned. So I started digging into this locker that I bought for 60 something bucks. $60. Yep, that's it. Now, I told you also about my, my, my secret that I have that makes me money every other day, which is, store, which is uh, staging. Go back, check my videos out, and you'll see. So on one side, I got some sneakers. Tennis shoes, whatever you want to call them, right? So I just started digging in this unit. And I just staged a unit the other day, and I put a whole bunch of tennis shoes and sneakers in there, and I made 300 and some odd dollars for a locker that I probably paid about $90 for. Good profit, right? And I'm keeping it going. Now, this is a pile that I'm donating to charity, as you can call it, or Purple Heart, okay? It's all clothes. So all the clothes that I get that are so-so kind of clothes... I'm putting them in this pile right here. Right here is probably going to be the good pile. Right here, I'm going to still clean that out and probably put that in the pile that goes to the charity people. Okay? So I'm going to dig this out little by little, piece by piece, just to show you what I have. To show you that this business is still a good, sustainable business that will last you forever, for a lifetime, man. You know, I got a piece of jewelry over here. I don't know what it is yet. I haven't checked it out to see whether or not it's gold, silver, or whatever it is. But here it is right here. So I just throw it aside. I put it down right here. 
and I'm going to check it out later. See if it sticks to a magnet and see what it does. So as I go through this drawer right here, okay, you can see, and I always make sure that I wear gloves because you're going into somebody else's stuff and you don't know what's in store for you, right? Especially after we've come out of a situation where COVID is concerned. And I hope you've gotten your shots, you know, I've gotten mine. Anyway, so let's dig through this right here. So here's a pair of binoculars right here, right? A pair of binoculars I got. Here's a watch that I got. And um, more glasses right here. And other little things. Oh, here's another watch right here. Okay, without a band. I got lots and lots of watches. All right. And then you dig through most of this stuff right here. And um, I always keep my wires because I want to make sure that if there's something in here that needs the wires, I have them over here or somewhere where I can find them. All right. So what I'll do for now is do the stuff that I'm sifting through. I can basically tell and I make sure that I go through everything meticulously, time by time, little by little. These clothes right here, I'm going to put in my donation pile for Purple Heart. I always like to know that I donated something, that you give something back. That's the only way you're going to start getting something back yourself or getting more. You have, you, have to, you, have to, you have to give out to get back. I'm a firm believer in that. My grandmother, God bless her soul, that's what she used to do. I used to think that she was giving everything away, you know, but I understood her madness as she, as she basically uh, went through life. Now look at this. Okay, so you got some PS4 games. All right, so let's pop this open and see if the games are in there. Bingo. PS4. The game is in there. Another PS4 game. Game is in there. And he's probably got more in here. PS4 game. Game is in there. We got lucky with that so far, right? So you see what I'm saying, my, my friends? I'm going to take this. I'm going to pour this all in one. Take this plastic. I always like to stay organized, okay? Organization is the key to everything that you do in life. Because if you're not organized, you, you, you're really going to drive yourself crazy, especially in this business, as far as this business is concerned. Okay, so here's some shorts. It's, it's summer outside, and um, I do pretty good with shorts. You know, I take them to my little flea market thing, and I sell them. All right, also, we got to find out what brand name these jeans are. I don't know what brand name these are, but I put them aside. I do pretty good with jeans. And the brand name is... Da -da 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 True luck. Okay, might be might be branded true, true religion, but we'll find out later. Okay, so put everything aside, and um, I just keep going. Don't forget to leave your comments. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button, and keep moving, my friends. Keep moving. Don't give up in life. Don't ever ever give up. I took a little vacation from you guys because I had to get my uh, my bearings together because I was losing so much money, just in terms of putting out money to make money because I told everybody about this business and everybody started jumping in during COVID. Like I said, nobody wanted to leave their house and everybody wanted to find another, another form of income that they could use to make money instead of being in the population, so to speak. Right. So a lot of people tried this business. Like I said, the prices were totally ridiculous. What I would normally pay for a unit that was $50 was like now $500. It was, it was insane. But now it has gotten a lot tamer because people have gotten bitten, smitten by the things that they bought and realized that what they saw or what they think they saw was not what it really was. OK, but I've been in this business almost for 10 years and I can basically sit back, study a unit and tell what it could be. And most of the times I'm almost dead on, but I've never really lost. OK, so when you do this business, you need to go on storagetreasures.com, which is the one that has most of the stuff right now going on for most of the facilities, like I said, and you really have to study. You have to study exactly what it is that you are, that you've gotten yourself into. Okay. So you got to study, you got to see what it is that you are, that you're about to, about to buy. Um, and you got to swallow it. You got to digest it within your system till it becomes a part of your soul. And then you're like, okay, you know what? I, I don't think I'll, I'll do that. You know, here's some, here's some inshore, right? All right. Here's some more stuff right here. Here's some more inshore, some more inshore. And if it's, it's good, I'm going to use it myself. You know what I mean? You know, 
it's all still money, my friends. All still money. And you have to think of everything that you get out of this unit that I paid $63 for as a form of income, as, as money that you are about to make, could make, will make, um, and uh, that's how you have to treat it, right? So I'm going to go through this clothes again, and uh, by what I can see, uh, this uh, person had a lot of uh, high-end clothes, and I haven't even gotten to the back hit of this, this whole entire unit, right? But the potential of making a lot of money is definitely, is definitely, definitely here. I haven't lost my, uh, my ability to sniff one out. So these are, uh, Levi Strauss jeans and, and I always keep jeans. If, if I, if I, if I get, or, or I should say, if I, I don't keep a lot of the things I do keep, uh, jeans, uh, because jeans, <laughs> You know, jeans, jeans just, just will never go anywhere. You know, um, people love jeans. Jeans are expensive. Um, there are chances that, 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 you, that you can possibly make a good amount of money off of jeans and on and on and on and on and on. Okay? Yeah. So these, are, these once again, are Levi's. Okay? So I'll put the Levi's over here. Here we go with uh, the shorts. And these, these have a little, little rips in them. Tears in them. Okay? So, um, these, I've been taught by some people who like clothes and I, I don't really like clothes. Clothes are, clothes are not my thing. Clothes are, clothes are not things that I, I like, you know, I, I, I like, I like other things besides clothes, but, um, I'm just going to give you a taste of, uh, what it is that, uh, that I have. Look at this Suggs Jersey. Okay. Baltimore Raven Suggs. So what I'll do is it's, uh, I'll put that aside. And uh, I keep digging through it. But I just want to show you guys what the possibilities are. I love plastic bags, okay? You see all this stuff right here? There's plastic bags, plastic bags, plastic bags. It seems crazy as hell why people like plastic bags. Or why someone like myself would want to deal with something in plastic bags. When, when I don't know what the hell is in the plastic bag. But, you know, it's probably the mystery alone that, that gets me. Okay, here we go. And this is a sewing machine, actually, in here. You know, you, you, it's crazy, man, how people pack their stuff in, uh, in plastic bags uh, to store it away. But yeah, here, here we are right here. It's an actual sewing machine right here. Okay, and it's got the pedal and everything on here. And uh, uh, we're going to see... We're going to see about this, you know, we're going to see about the sewing machine right here, so let's just put it right here. Ah, yeah, there we go. It's a brother. Here's all the stuff that goes with it, okay, all right? So, so far, 60 bucks I paid for the unit, right? Okay, and you got your sewing machine right there. You got your clothes over here. Which I'll go through in a minute. It's probably some high-end stuff. And uh, I wanted to sell some of my stuff to Plato's Closet till I found out how difficult and intricate they are in terms of, of stuff. And it kind of like pissed me off a little bit because, you know, I thought they would take anything and everything, but they don't. This feels like, these feel like, uh, these feel like speakers of some sort. And you, you see, you can look all the way in. If you look from the outside of the unit, it doesn't look like much. But as you start to explore and you go deeper and deeper inside, you start to realize that, uh, you know, it, it, uh, it gets a little intense, right? So, so what I'll do with these things is, uh, and I'll just rotate it around a little bit for you, so you can see these speakers here, and um, you can take a look at them. And of course, you know, don't forget, we found some games, right? We found some PS4 games, and now here are some Sony speakers right here, Sony's right here. So I'll take these, and I'll take them out, and... Uh, I'll put them over here. The Sony speakers. Right? All in plastic bags. Huh? All in trash bags. You never know what you're gonna get. You know, life is a like life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. You know, and look at what we're getting here, okay? So uh, 60 bucks, my friend. 60 bucks so far. 60 bucks. And I'm gonna keep rolling, okay? I wanna show you as much as I possibly can why you need to take chances on a unit like this. 
where a lot of people would run away from the like this and uh, never run, especially from, uh, you're running away from money, you know, actually, you're running away from possibilities, and um, in, life, in life, I look at it like this, in life, you have to take a chance, right, and uh, chances will bring you stuff like this, okay, so here it is right here, this is the mother, this is the mother to the whole thing right here, and uh, I'll put this over here with this. Now what I'm gonna do eventually is I'm gonna take everything and I'm gonna put it in uh I'm gonna put it in uh in in a tub. Probably this empty one that came out of here. Once again, like I said, you have to stay organized. Because if you don't stay organized, this stuff right here will it will lead to your life, right? Okay, so my friends, don't forget, subscribe, keep watching. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. I'm back, and I'm back with a lot of information that you can possibly use to stay away from getting smitten, bitten, um, getting a bad unit. Talk to a pro. Whenever you need good advice, you want to talk to a pro. You know, you want to, you you want you want your plumbing done. You don't want to go to a complete stranger and uh, and have them fix your pipes, right? You want to go to a plumber who knows exactly what to do and guide you in the right way so that you uh you get it fixed properly and that's what i am i am called the storage king i call myself the storage king this is what i do this is what has sustained me for a long time okay so look at stuff like this that's still here whatever the heck this thing is I don't know what the heck this thing is. Okay. All right. You know, you got a lot of stuff in here that are brand new. And I'll just keep going for a little bit. I'm a lot more organized than this. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to show you guys exactly what $60 worth of stuff or and, and uh, possibilities of uh, buying a unit like this will bring you. Okay. So these are all closed. And I'll go through this again. Okay. All right. So. See where we are so far? I'm going to clean all this stuff up. Trust me. It's going to look so nice and neat and clean. It's incredible. Let's see what I got right over here. Let's put this over here. Okay. And I'll go through that again. All right. Cool. So, my friends, this is a great business for you to get in. This is a great business for you to stay in. You know, um, not just get in and not get in for the long haul. So, here you are. There's a Dell. Some sort of a Dell system here. You can see the box, but... <laughs> <laughs> I've learned a long time ago that it might not be what's in the box, but it is what's in the box. Now, I don't know what that is, but it's uh, it's uh, the bottom of the bottom of uh, a system. Okay, all right. Once again, sixty dollars. Subscribe, subscribe, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to a thousand, a thousand subscribers. I'm trying to get to. A, a point where I got you guys watching and you got you guys loving it, man. You know, just like I love how I love to do this. And this is all this is all computer stuff in here. Okay, one more box, guys. And I got a lot more to go th go through. You know, um, I'm sure there are more video games in here. I'm sure that I'll probably find a system that would be great. That'd be absolutely great. Now, you see the mattress back there? Don't let mattresses scare you, okay? Um, <laughs> you know, they're, they're, they're deterrents for a lot of people, but they don't deter me. All right, so let's just open up this, this one for this Dell right here, this Dell box, and see if we got anything. Okay, all right, let's see. All right, so I don't know what this is. It's, it might be a base to a monitor or something, but that's what that is. My friends, stay inspired. Push that like button. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend. Watch me all the time. Watch all the past videos that I have. Watch how successful I've been in this business. It's a perpetual income that never stops. Go to lulu.com. Pick up the book. It is titled, Use the Faults. Or Use the Fault. Big Profit. Always making money off this business. People 
will always lose. No matter who you are, you lose. You might not lose big, you lose small, but you lose. And people lose in this instant right here. They lose their stuff. They pick themselves up. They dust themselves off. And they keep moving. And that's what you need to do. Always in life. Always keep moving. Always stay motivated. My friends, Storage King. Stay inspired. Stay watching.